Like, bro, I don't know. <laughs> like, you could try them, bro. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's going to crease, like, so bad right here. Dude, bro, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I promise you, I don't know what to do. What is going on, everybody? Good to see you guys again. Before we hop into today's video, I just want to give a quick shout out to all you guys that left a comment and subscribe from the last video. If you guys want a quick little shout out in the comment section on my next video, just real quick, drop a comment, make sure it's positive, and you guys will be featured in the next video. And without further ado, today's video, we are going to be looking at Crease Beast. Crease Beast is a, a sneaker crease protector. I personally never heard of them before. I always just use the ones that they sell at Champs or Foot Locker, you know, the little white ones. So Crease Beast, we got the dual pack here, the regular Crease Beast original, and then we also got the Crease Beast Slim here. I believe the Crease Beast original is better for like wider shoes and Air Force Ones, Jordan Ones like. And the thin, I think these would work a lot better in like maybe Jordan Fords or something like that. Something where you got a little less room in the toe. These are, I believe the fourth spec that they ever made of these. I think they have four different models and this is the latest. But opening it up, the regular Crease Beast, you're meant with these foam pads here, which they feel very, if I could describe it, almost like a... I don't know, one of those kid toy balls that are real squishy, foam, mattress-like material. It's very different. Almost feels like a, a like a foamy Play-Doh. So you hit with the, their motto, I'm the mother beast. You got the right on here for the right foot, L for the left, and coming into the packaging. Just basically a thank you in the history of the company so far. We'll give you a shot of that if you guys want to read it. You guys can send that code right there and say 15% on an order. And then you're met with what I think is the most unique and kind of different. I don't know how I'm feeling. I haven't tried them out yet. Aspects of these shoes is little holders for these crease protectors. You put this on your foot, then you put the crease protector inside, and then you put on your shoe, which in my opinion, I've never had a crease protector protector for shoe that took that many steps to prevent creases but if it worked it works now the shoe that these are going to help out with that is a very iconic and affordable shoe for everybody to enjoy but the number one problem with this shoe is it creases almost every time that you wear it without protection it will crease on you yes i am talking about these these right here i know you guys know what i'm talking about you wear these things a couple times you get that nasty crease in front and you no longer want to wear them because they don't look fresh anymore they look nasty people look at them and they're just not as smooth as when they first come out the box so these are the perfect shoes perfect example to be wearing with these crease beast protectors these shoes crease like no other so if the crease beast can keep these from creasing then you guys should buy on the website they claim these are way more sustainable than these and we'll throw up the little graphic on how much money you could save over time that they claim with these so if you're looking at it like that it makes sense financially especially in this economy guys you know what i'm saying or you have this plastic one which is i've used these to me these are one of the most uncomfortable ones to use just because like the plastic kind of eats at your foot if you're wearing it with like a tighter fit shoe See, they have a graphic on their instagram that i'll throw up that kind of gives you the size difference in which shoes you might want to wear each one with so i'll throw that up there but you're probably going to want to check them out for yourself see how they fit in every shoe swap out between the two you'll figure out what, which works best in the long run but without further ado let's slip these on let's see if they do hold up to the test so far guys this has been the very odd part is putting this on your foot it's that extra step that you don't really have to do with any other crease protector if you guys look at the slice in this sock that they give you it's very small if you just look at it the comparison wise so i'm i am still trying to figure out the best way to get it in here kind of have to like squish the foam and throw it in kind of form it to your to your foot and that's kind of how it's going to look right now on your foot it's all the way in there all right let's see how this feels honestly it feels kind of kind of weird just off putting that on crease protector is now right here on my foot instead of up here so let's just let's just look at how this the sock moves on your sock when you put it on like this little first sock moves so i did read on the box it says loosen up your shoes and once again if you guys could zoom in here like this is not protected though the protector is sitting right here because it keeps getting stuck so i'm guessing i'm just gonna have to loosen up my shoe all the way which is a little irritating but it is moving around a lot so i mean if i mean maybe it's just the first time that you have to do it but like if you're just trying to throw on a shoe and leave and get ready like if you got to keep re-putting on a pair of shoes you know what i'm saying yeah and i guess it's just too tight right there because you guys can see it's still not protected it's sitting like right here it like slid down my foot and it's sitting right here now dude i don't know how loose how loose you gotta make your shoe so basically without the shoe on if i could demonstrate what's happening is when i put on my shoe the top of my shoe grabs this it kind of just pulls it back just like that so now it's sitting kind of on the, the top of my foot here instead of where my toes where you you know bending part where the crease would come in top of my shoe is grabbing this and pushing it down right here and it feels very awkward you know what maybe we should try the slim maybe these are just not fitting the fitting the shoes because we need to try the slim so now coming into the slims here guys 
right off the bat, you can tell it's a lot. Big difference here. I wear a size nine, back of the box here. It says loosen your laces, hide your foot halfway in, adjust the beast accordingly to the location of the main creases, and press down on the foam to make sure it's fitting in the toe box. Seems like those fit better in there too, right? The slims seem to fit all the way in. There's not as much red hanging out as the original ones were hanging out. Like, okay, halfway in, right? Halfway in. Adjust the beast to make sure it's good. Like, I feel like no matter what, maybe I just gotta loosen this section up, which is like kind of annoying, but I'm doing this for you guys. Like, bro, I don't know. <laughs> like, you could try them, bro. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's gonna crease like so bad right here. Dude, bro, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I promise you, I don't know what to do. Honestly, bro, I think that's the best it's gonna get. It's just the top. I, I think we finally got it, guys. It's in there. Yeah, that's like the best I've, I've been able to get it. All right, guys, we're back. Was walking around for about 35, 45 minutes. Went to go grab something to eat and everything. One thing I could say right off the bat, these are a lot more comfortable to be wearing in your shoes than the force fields are for sure. Especially these plastic ones. These plastic ones on the scale here, these are like a three out of 10. This on the comfort scale is probably like seven, 7.5 out of 10 out of comfort. These I'd put honestly an 8.5 out of 10. I think the only thing that can make it like a 10 out of 10 is if like somehow these were like permanently glued to their spot because when you are walking you can feel it shift a little bit where you're, when your toe bends so every crease protector does have its creasing point and i did notice that the crease beast creasing point was more towards the toe in my final review on the crease beast i do like it the comfort's there just little things i would change for one this sock thing maybe if they put a, a little velcro attachment here so the crease protector itself doesn't fall out or shift or anything while you're wearing it also i think if they could just make it a little bit longer help that creasing point towards my toe fill up the whole toe box so there is no creasing point at all they would be absolutely perfect other than that the material itself is very very unique it's like really nice to have in your hand it feels good on your feet you almost don't even feel it one of the probably the this is not even probably this is the most comfortable crease protector i've used so far and i've worn a lot of shoes i've worn these for countless years these i absolutely hate they dig into my toe all the time so shout out to crease beast they made a good product out of 10 a score out of 10 with everything combined the comfort the wearability the creasing point everything i think these come in at a solid 8.4 on the scale out of 10. I gotta do a little awkward 8.4 scale scale just because I watched too much Dave Portnoy. But solid crease beast protectors. If you guys are looking for anything to keep your shoes safe, keep your shoes clean, keeping them from getting creases, I would recommend this company. Once again, in the description down below, you can find links to purchase these. With all that being said, guys, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Till next time, peace.